Thank you, Whirlwind Press, for letting me be a featured reader. The input for publishing my work. Also, thank you, Bob, for filming this. My first piece is called Everyday People. Mirages of daylight, outcasts with toothless, toothless friends, perform cart work to carbohydrate to sustain the hunger for validation, even their shadows crave from time to time. Showered in shame, water douses only the privileged in the land of opportunity, lest the heavens emote. Oh, to lick the salty trepidation from the eye of an American bushman with chapped lips floundering. The ribs have become a game of fiddlesticks, a piercing stare from onlooker passing. The coin toss of miscommunication boomerangs from two expressionless faces. Nevertheless, a leftover drumstick is most fitting for Pavlov's dogs. A forgotten veteran with missing limb mounted on a chrome wheel, distilled in excellence, explains he would prefer acknowledgement to pity. A youth in subway corridors slumbers, contorted like origami during the confetti season, and is disenfranchisement of dumpsters as fulfilling as banana pills or half-eaten three-course meals. An overwhelming scent of ammonia lingers in an unknown alley, a woman genuflects to the wind, the only element to call her name, but she is not schizophrenic. Between borders, expansive desert offers no solace for migrant children. The unaccompanied, unaccompanied niños whose fathers abandoned them, para el norte, para la América. But where will they go? Away from drunken, destitute mothers with too many children. Perhaps they flee from abusive stepfathers, or or from carteles that, that commission young natives to be foot soldiers in an, a narcotic militia. They go. They belong nowhere. Certainly not in Honduras, Guatemala City, or Chiapas, Mexico. These migrants travel for days. Many surrender to the harsh sun or to subpar midnights on a quest to the United States. These valiant nobodies look forward to una vida mejor, a better life. Little do they know about the discrimination, detainment, or anti-migration anti protests, or the fact that they will develop an eternal fear of La Mica. No names, no, no identities, no green cards. These unknown Hispanic children exist only in concept. Perhaps a distant memory of them lingers in the sandy plains between borders. My final piece is dedicated in memory of Sam Allen. And although I didn't know him, I know how it feels to miss someone very deeply and very earnestly. And so it took me a very long time to really um, conjure up the emotion needed to really uh, honor su such a, a great legacy. So with that being said, I also honor uh, the Mosebto fish reading frame of reference. Egress from reality, which beckons in deliberate manner, the pontifications of your memory supersede religion and all else. Your name becomes a cloistered object in the throat, moistened by the saline of backwash emotion. In those moments when the curtain of life dissolves, in that midnight hour, our journeys merge, lest I awake too soon. Thank you.